We want to bring in Noah Tishby. She's an Israeli actress and a former Israeli special envoy for combating anti-Semitism anti and the delegitimization of Israel. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You, it has been 10 days since the Hamas attack. Just first of all, talk about the impact globally on Jewish communities just all around the world? That's a great question. So the impact is profound. Jewish communities all around the world feel threatened, they feel under attack, and they feel unsafe. We've been warning for a very long time that there's a huge rise in anti-Zionism, which is the new face of anti-Semitism, and we have for a very long time tried to warn against it and show that every time there's a conflict that's happening in Israel, now a massive war, Jewish communities around the world suffer. Everybody feels connected and everybody feels that this is personally attacking them, and we see this in the attacks in Beijing. Uh, an Israeli man was slaughtered. There are attacks in Sydney. They're yelling, gas the Jews. There was a demonstration here in New York City a few days ago in support of Hamas, in support of a terrorist organization. So people feel more comfortable supporting, and I'm not saying people, obviously a lot in the American people understand that we're talking with a barbaric, um, barbaric terrorist organization, but a lot of people on the left are actually standing up against Israel Israel against the Jewish community and supporting a terrorist organization, and it has to stop. We're seeing a lot of tensions play out on college campuses sure. right now. It, there's a rich tradition of that in college. Exactly. I remember, you know, when exactly. I went to college years ago, you would see these discussions. How would you like to see schools handle this in a way that is respectful, but also like it communicates the most important message. So what we're seeing right now on college campuses has been brewing for a very long time. This is not new and this is not just coming out. We have seen for many, many years apartheid week, apartheid wall. We've seen Jewish um, uh, college students, more than half of them, feel the need to hide their Jewish identity. And this is before this conflict happened before this war occurred. So this problem for Jewish communities and Jewish students on campuses and this vilification of Israel has been happening for a very long time. I think that now the administration is starting to understand that they made a mistake and they're starting to understand that people will not stand for this anymore. I don't think you can allow for um, BDS organizations to be on campuses anymore. BDS, which is the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Organization, which is the organization that has basically infiltrated the American minds of young people in trying to brand Israel an apartheid state um, similar to South Africa, which is nothing but a new blood liable. These organizations are not a uh, progressive organization organizations. This organization is not about peace and it's not about unity and it's not about the two-state solution. BDS organization is an organization that is after the destruction of a democratic state, the Jewish, Jewish state, and it needs to be stopped. We only have a little bit of time here, but we have people who are deeply involved in this issue. We also have just a lot of people, especially in America, who are not paying maybe very close attention to what's mm. happening in the Middle East. What would you say to them to say why this is important to pay attention to it? This is such a good question. Look, this war, it's not Israel's war. This war is the world's war. What is happening right now, Hamas is ISIS. Hamas is the Taliban. Hamas is that doctrine of radicalism that is after everything that we hold dear. They're after our way of life. They're after our values and our cultures. And sadly, I must say that since Israel is the front line of this worldwide war, if they're done with Israel, they're coming for us in America and Western civilization. So this, is, this needs to be very personal for any person who values um, our democratic values and our way of life. Noah Tishby, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.